and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be super fun because I decided to film this tutorial as a let's go, let's wing it, let's have some fun and put together a whole new makeup look surrounding all new hair. So some of you guys might already know that I had cut a lot of my hair uh, off and shaved at the back and I did the bright reds, I did the blondes, I did that raspberry dark purpley brunette when I moved back to California and I was like well I'm still finding what color I want to be. I don't know if I ever fully connected to that blonde hair because I never fully ever do connect to blonde hair. I'm always very distanced from it. I don't see myself as a blonde person. I'm not a blonde person so that might have something to do with it but nonetheless I wanted to do a very cutesy bob with the rockabilly influence and sort of cartoonish red hair. And that's when I showed up at my hairdressers and we decided to do a melt with a shadow root in the most vibrant red we could find and with the most vibrant uh, pink, hot pink melt and quite literally my hair from head to toe has no more normal color in it and um, I, I am growing out the bob so I did remove like the thinned out like angle because the back is now all completely grown out it's now a very cutesy very wavy Monroe-esque bob my hair is actually very healthy because it's not bleached to infinity and beyond but I love this anime bang. I love this bob for for now, but I still want to grow it out and have like a really awesome melt of color. Um, but I love this. Like the color is very melted. No more balayage. It's all like melt. It's perfect. I love it. So this is not where I was trying to get out. Well, the first time I went blonde, I thought I really wanted to go blonde, but then I was like, eh. If I could turn back time, I'd go a little bit more red, but I'm loving it. And I almost feel like an anime character with a wig on, but it is my hair. So, yeah. And then, so with that being said, because we kind of joked about the anime bang, how the animation bang always leaves room for the element of surprise and expression on a character so that you can always tell what they're thinking, doing, or blah, 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 whatever. So we decided to angle out the bang and get fun and funky with it. And so I'm now retraining my bangs. I showed up a, a, with a picture of sort of like a very boxy bob and then I was like you know I'm never on trend with hair because I've probably already done it before. Uh, I know I didn't do the rose gold or the silver because that's very damaging whereas this you don't have to lift your hair up as much. You really have to lift it up your hair incredibly uh, you know high levels of bleach to do the silver or the rose gold. And So while I love the rose gold it also has a dullness that doesn't quite pander to my love of being like, you know, a richer than heck cherry red, basically what Lucy would have been back in her day, but then turning it into sort of a cartoon-esque thing today. So I definitely love it. It's very Japanese street style, very anime with the bang, but very classic and bobby, and almost like, I don't know, almost like a Black Widow-esque bob from Avengers. So I'm totally loving it. I love that the bob is now no longer has an inclination, so it looks more Monroe-esque, and will just continue to grow and, and melt. And so yeah, I hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial, because I did take elements from Rockabilly-esque looks and elements from anime looks, as far as the face, the powders, um, and the blush, and the highlighting is concerned. That's more of an anime influence. Um, so it is a little cosplay, but a little fun. And I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I know a lot of people like beauty looks here on YouTube, so I know this isn't your traditional beauty-esque look, but I it pertains to the world of beauty nonetheless and so enjoy it. Okay so to get started on today's look we're gonna go ahead and start from extreme dry scratch. Just got my hair done so we're really gonna recreate and um, a new look right here on camera. So I took my skin food peach sake toner that I did decanter into this um, under Blue Naturals bottle um, just because I like the spray. Uh, I use that to balance my pH level. I don't like using cotton rounds, cotton balls, or anything like that when it comes to using a toner because you are literally balancing your potential hydrogen level and cotton cuts that potential hydrogen, literally. So after that I go to the Nip Fab Hydrate. This is the Dragon's Blood Fix um, Plumping Serum. And then I put on my Anti-Aging Slash Brightening Serum, which is the Miracle Age Serum from um, Thank You Farmer. My Bare Minerals Brilliant Future Eye Cream. 
And then of course my core is, this is the Wild Rose Rose Sauvage 24 hour moisturizer with macadamia oil and Wild Rose as a vitamin C brightener. And then, um, so there is no sunscreen in our basics because they, uh, that way I can use them for day or night. And then I'm going to go into my Bare Minerals Primetime Brightening Primer just to create a little bit of a, of a, a nice hydrated cushion and filter on the face so our moisturizer and all that has something to stick onto and look radiant. And then for lip balm, which is super essential, especially in dry weather, I took the Crazy Rumors Leaping Bunny. This is kind of a, a berry scent, kind of. So, oh, sorry, no, it's plum apricot. Hmm, feels berry-ish, but that's okay. So anyways, um, for foundation today, I'm going to go ahead and take one of my personal favorite concoctions, and that is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. I feel it's very dry. It is 105 degrees outside, so yes, I am a little bit uh, crazy in the summertime for going with the bolts, but it's what I do usually. I love me some color in the summer. So I'm going to go ahead and take this um, So Best Kabuki style brush, and we're going to get that tinted moisturizer with a wonderful cooling sensation because the coconut alkaline onto the skin. Ooh, and just nourish it. I really recommend a tinted moisturizer in the summertime. The thinner the makeup layers, usually for the that's usually the best thing you can do in the summertime. It doesn't matter how bold, intense, or amazing the look is. You really want your skin to breathe and you want to apply color in thin layers so it's less likely to, you know, melt. So next I'm going to be taking Well Rested, and this is a wonderful nice little under eye brightener and concealer and we're just going to go ahead and press <laughs> so I get the brush under my eye in my eye in under my eye around my eye surrounding my eye next I'm going to be taking bare minerals minerals original foundation in fair ivory taking that six plus brush I'm basically just using face kabukis really thick nice wide that's what she said, kabukis. And buffing it into the face. Okay, so now that the makeup is on, the makeup, the foundation is on, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Bare Minerals. This is the Brow Master named after the brush. And we're just going to go ahead and kind of spoolie those brows up. Now I did take them a little thinner. They're still growing out here. But I did take them a little thinner because I didn't need all the bushiness like under here. It just was looking like the makeup art and the brows were having a fight. I like them a little bit cleaner when I'm doing, when I'm as expressionistic an artist as I am. Um, I like to work with them, not have them work me, so to speak. Um, and at the same time I want them to be easy to fill in, so I kind of teeter back and forth before landing on the right shape. So They were growing in lopsided and then I plucked them <laughs> really thin so that they just be like even so that when I filled them in they looked identical and then I had now they're growing out at the same time it probably seems a little extreme I just hated how ununiform the makeup looked so I want these to look like rockabilly brows by the way so that is why I took them down a little bit so I was kind of fighting with, well, what color do I choose? And then I was like, well, they're, the fact that I really need to focus on color means that they're taking over my face. So, so I really want that good rockabilly angle there. Okay, so now that the rockabilly brows are on, they could be thinner if I wanted, but we'll play with that for now. I hate to overpluck and regret later. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and take the Pure Hydrogel. This is kind of an eye primer. I'm gonna start off by taking the Bare Minerals. This is the Bare Naturals palette that is an exclusive to Macy's. A version of this called the Bare Essentials palette, which is a purple version, is an exclusive at Ulta. So whichever, you know, if you wanna do blue or purple, the choice is yours to make. They, they both have a great deal of fun, nice nudes, and then some of the fun brights. So depending on, you know, if you wanna do blue or purple, the choice is yours to make. Purples can be hard to make. So just something to keep in mind um, and something to be forgiving of if you get the Bare Essentials palette. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and take a mix of cream and celebrate for the brow to crease color. And this is basically going to be our blend color or blending out kind of, this is gonna be our home base, so to speak. So now I'm going to go ahead and take Pale Silk. This is a really fun, nice satiny crease color. If you're doing this look with MAC, this would be kind of like shroom for the base color and then the crease color would be kind of like Samoa Silk. And then for the inner portion of the eye, I'm going to go ahead and go into Hot Commodity. If you end up seeing a lot of random things in the background of the bathroom, I didn't decorate this bathroom and it is very shared. It's probably the busiest bathroom. It has the most traffic. It's space is why all my stuff is in here. Because I have a lot of stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw Hot Commodity from the inner tear duct of the eye below it and a little bit like that, right inside the socket line. And now I'm going to go ahead and take Stila's eyeliner in the shade Alpine. This is going to go inside the inner rim of the eye. And then for underneath the eye, I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit more Pale Silk. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of Cupcake, which is a Bare Minerals Loose Eyeshadow Shade. and then smooth that onto the eyelid. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of mahogany, which is this dark shade over here. And then just blend that into the socket line. Now for mascara, I'm going to go ahead and take the Lorac Pro Fiber Lash. Now the con with this mascara is it's um, a brush. So there is a little trick I like to use. Just so I can get the major most majority, whatever, um, ease of application with the look I want, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to clean off the tip of that um, so that the black mascara doesn't kind of, you know, touch my nose bridge and cause a mess. Other than that, a few coats of this really gives a beautiful, clean look, but very separated long lashes. So, that's basically my little trick to working with this mascara. For my face anyways, I think my eyes might be a little close set, so it all depends if you need to do what I did. I just find that easy because it is a messy brush. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the Stila 
say stay all day and then just barely touch up the lash line just to slightly thicken it we're not going to do anything crazy here Okay, so the eyes are done. I think they are super fun. So I'm going to go ahead and take um, Bare Minerals A Little Sun. Using the same brush we used to powder the face, just so the bronzer doesn't get too harsh. Sometimes foundation can look a little funny next to brightly colored hair, so I just like to kind of warm up the face so you don't see the pigment undertones as much in the foundation against like a dermi permanent pigment. I'm going to go ahead and take Bare Minerals Aphrodisiac Blush, and we're just going to go ahead and draw an X. I love the Lorac um, blushes and highlighters. They're very creamy and pigmented. They go on very easily. This is the shade Starlight. It's kind of like a vanilla e gold. And I saw this sort of Japanese inspired highlighting trick. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that today. Where it starts back here and then you kind of brush it forward. You get this like wonderful wet kind of glow down the nose bridge. So I used to focus on highlighting quite differently to really brighten my skin tone, but I've managed to do a lot of that through skincare. So for lip liner, I'm going to be taking the Buxom Plump Line Lip Liner in the shade Dolly Danger, and we're just going to line the lips and fill them in. I'm going to go ahead and take Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Berlin and it's very bright rose. Now I'm going to be taking Buxom Lip Whip in Berry Blast. I love these. If I can recommend one book some product, it's these. The, the full on lip creams. They do have a plumper, sorry. Nah. I love that combined with um, Berlin Faux Show. This lip is taking on a whole other vibe with this hair, but I love it. And I am I'm living for it. It's a subtle makeup look with a little bit of a rockabilly slash anime influence and I am all about it. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!